Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Good morning and welcome to the technical analysis of the Forex market from the ForexPeaceFamily.com. Uh, we will talk about the Euro as usual. Well, in our research we will start from the, some fundamental view on the current situation while uh, while we got this uh, really strong sell-off on the Euro currency yesterday. Well, I think that is not the secret that the, some problems with the resolving of the Greece problem uh, exist on the Euro Union. and uh, the, Speaking generally, this is a, a twofold problem. The first leg of this problem is that uh, France and Greece uh, can't find the decision how to um, what to do with the uh, Greece debt. Uh, this needles to say that the Greece itself uh, has a lot of problems uh, with the shortcutting of the budget spending. Well, uh, and uh, currently, uh, the one of the ways how it could be to resolve that the France and the Germany uh, want that the private banks who hold currently the Greece debt uh, also take some part of the uh, loss uh, due to the uh, potential Greece uh, default. Well, if, that will, if this will happen, then it will mean that, uh, first of all, uh, we should say that this is absolutely unwelcome for their uh, private banks. And the second, that if it will happen, that it will mean that this will be, this will be the first uh, default of the Euro Union, because uh, the Greece, as you know, the part of the Euro Union. So uh, this is the one leg. The second leg is the uh, long-term uh, undecision, undecided, undecided of the behavior of the uh, leaders of the Euro Union, France and Greece, and any uh, definition. Uh, and the blur situation very heavily, uh, heavily press on the investors who do not like to see uh, uh, when the decisions on the crucial problems uh, makes in the long term period. They need the they need fast and uh, brave and uh, wise decision and resolving on any problems uh, who uh, th 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 that could give the uh, some calm to the investors who could be uh, relatively um, common uh, the invest investments on the Euro Union. So, as you remember, yesterday we, need, we have needed this some more clarification from the market. Will it intends to do A, B, C, D, or it moves to the downside? And we have got it. So it's really absolutely drastic sell-off like here. Okay. So it's really strong move to the downside, and this uh, give us some clue, some more clarification for the first situation in the midterm. First of all, let's speak about the nearest term perspective and <coughs> talk about this potential better fly by. Okay, well, in general, reaching of seven eight six support is normal, and in fact, this gives us the uh, perfect better fly because market stop. At seven, almost at 76 during this move up. Now it has reached 76 here, and if you will see, for example, fast move to the upside, this will be the perfect better fly. Also, there is will there will not not be any problem of market average 886 or even 100 percent move, because butterfly will be cancelled only if market will take this low at the B point 139.25. In this case, in, in this case, this butterfly will be cancelled. But currently, I think that uh, this development of the current situation is very probable. Because uh, if you uh, remember our weekly analysis, we said that here was the weekly stop grabber. And the normal, uh, the theoretical target of the stop grabber is the taking out of the previous loss. The previous loss on the weekly time frame is this B point. So, uh, major question on the weekly and monthly time frame. Will we get this A, B, C top? 
with moving to the 137 area. Because 137 is not just the 100% extension of this ABCD pattern. This is also the monthly confidence support. Uh, if my mind doesn't trick me, it's about 136.50, 137.30, somewhere in that area. So the 100% uh, extension target stands precisely in the middle of this confidence support. Also, take a look at, at the current development A, B, C top. Market has hit 100% extension just during the one bar. Acceleration from the 618 target directly to 100% extension target. Now, market has hit 786 support, 100% support, uh, sorry, 100% target. And also, this is the weekly pivot support too. This is the uh, rather deep support. Okay? But now, market hasn't reached oversold. Oversold for the current day stands right here. In the combination of the 886 support 140, so in the 140 area roughly, it's right here. You can see. So market uh, theoretically, market has no barriers except this support area to continue move to the downside. Uh, well, the next target, this acceleration usually tells us this really fast move. You can see that this leg currently is a bit faster, probably than this one will be. Okay, this acceleration tells us that market has a nice probability to reach 1618 target, 138.54. It's right here. As you can see, a lot of stops have been placed right here. So if market grab the stops and reach this target, also there is relatively free space in the moving to the downside. It's, there is no FIP supports or something in this area. Okay, So it very easily could reach this area. We started from this whole great ABCD. And I think that is our uh, preferable uh, scenario for the current, uh, in the current environment because uh, there are a lot of negative surprises coming from the Euro Union current, uh, currently. And uh, this, this price action tells me that probably we will see this ABCD pattern. Okay, now what we could do in current environment. So, mm, just a bit. Uh, intermediate conclusion that what do we have? Weekly trend is bearish. Daily trend is bearish. Market couldn't be able to show us some deeper move and accelerate to the downside. Well, uh, the only single bullish pattern that we could get is this potential butterfly. But the recent price action tells me that probably now it has more chances to fail than to work. Well, that's why uh, so that we have both trends bullish, we do not have any bullish, uh, bearish, we do not have any bullish patterns currently. That uh, on, So our context for trading is on the bearish side, on the short side of the market. So we, we need to search some possibility to enter short. So how we could do that? This is the same daily chart, but the areas of resistance. Well, very often when the market accelerates from the 618 target to 100% right here, okay, now, uh, then it usually shows some retracement to the upside before continuing move to the 1618. That's normal price action. Also, we know that although market not at the result, it stands at the strong area of support. ABC target, 786 support, and weekly pivot support too. So I suppose that this is not the good idea to enter short currently from the area of support. We need some pullback. So as market know not at the result and never bought, Currently, we could use the nearest fiber resistance to enter on the short side of the market, around 142.04, with a placing stop above the next area of conference resistance, 142.83, 142.96. I think that this is not a bad uh, idea uh, to enter on the short side of the market. Besides that confluence resistance, this will be the 50% resistance on the strong nasty bar to the downside, and previous swing. Well, okay, so this that's nice area to resist. If market will continue to move to the upside and you raise this nasty bar and move to the upside, then probably we could tell about the butterfly. That uh, will give us some hope that probably it could work. But till that moment, it's um, hardly market will uh, hardly we, we could say about any bullish uh, bias on the market. Well. Uh, if market really intends to continue move to the downside, it should not take out this confidence resistance because it's not that neither the overbought not, nor the result. Uh, so mm, and this is really strong bar. Okay, this is also the previous um, support resistance line. So uh, market just should not take out this 
area and continue move to the upside if it's really can in intends to accomplish this A, B, C, D pattern and it's really intends to go down. So this placing stops right here is absolutely logical. So that's my current view on this situation. There's no um, big deal to uh, watch at hourly and four hour uh, charts currently because there is nothing really interesting. There's no pattern, just huge move to the downside. No, no reversal patterns, uh, nothing. That's why today we will not discuss the 4 hour and hourly chart. Well, probably yesterday or uh, today, tomorrow, uh, probably tomorrow or maybe today's uh, closer to the evening to the opening of the uh, United States trading session we will see some uh, patrons that could tell us that probably this re retracement could uh, is started but currently I do not see anything interesting on the lower time frames so the general approach is as follows since the market not a result and if it start move to the upside uh, both trends are bearish daily and uh, weekly trend so we could enter on the short side right from the 142.04 but the placing stops just above 142.96 or above 143, something like here. The target of this potential move is, I suppose, 137.